Girl, why does things in there talking about this checking connection? Hey, boo. Hey, boo. Hey, everybody. Girl, mama's just outside, girl, honey. She, she, she trying to get her a little sunlight, a little light bright, my little light. I'm going to let it shine. I'm trying to get me a little bit of that, girl. You know, I got on my little pool, get, uh, my little pool get up, girl. And I am going to get in the pool today. I have not been in the pool. Hey, knees. I have not been in the pool for a very long time. And um, I'm going to get in my pool. Hey, k -Dub. I'm going to get in my pool today. Because, Talia, what's going on, boo? Because, like, I really have been, like... Y'all know I've been sick, girl, honey. And I've been... I'm trying to get back together. And I have not been in my pool, girl, since the 19 had done got a hope to me, girl. And I just want to put my body down in some of this bleach. You know, put in this bleach, girl, honey, and see what's going on. Uh... Oh, hey, Tampa, Florida. What's up, babe? What's going on, honey? Hey, Refresh Candle Cold. What's the tea? Thank you, Private. Oh, my God. I love your name, Private Abortion. <laughs> Girl, you is a mess. <laughs> yes, God, Private Abortion. Mm. Um... You said me and Miss Mary had you cackling, Kato. What were we talking about? The, uh, girl, when I said I couldn't smell her ass no more. Girl, I couldn't smell her ass, honey. Oh, what's up, Shay? That's right. Oh, no, it's not chick, honey. It's bitch, Jesse. Um, what's going on, Tay Melvin? Jordan, ha Jordan, Jordana Hoskins, honey. Hey, boo. Uh, I love you, too. Come on, private boy. Girl, that name has taken me. It's many things that has that has really tried to take me, but that name is taking me. Lounging with Tony. Tony, what's going on, Tony? Yes. Um, you said how do you know if you had COVID nineteen or Delta? Um, when you get your um results, it 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 uh it specifies on your results, girl. What um what you had, girl, or what you got? Hey, Chica. Oh, hey, girl, I be um. Uh... So, y'all know I've been working through it, child. I've been trying to really pull myself together, honey. Thank you for the badge, Mr. Ink. Um, yes, we was in danger's order. Uh, you say you post me all the time. Girl, I love your name, girl. That name, this that's the name that's above all names, honey. Private abortion. Yes, ma'am, honey. Yes, ma'am. Girl, yes, I've been working on it. Child, I got my little esthetician be coming over here working on my skin and stuff like that. But, girl, you know, I, I just, yesterday I went and got me a, um, I don't know if you can see the little mom, girl, honey. I went and got me a vitamin drip yesterday. Um, Me and Miss Mary went and got vitamin drips yesterday. And it was uh really interesting because, um, you know, I sat there, girl, that shit just dripped in me. Drip, 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 drip all inside of me, girl. I was, I felt like I wanted to. You know, so it was just dripping and dripping and um dripping. Miss Mary is over there, honey. She's up she's up there like she's up there part of the deck, girl, over there. And one over there in the little uh caboodle, caboodle thing over there, honey. I'm um, taking her a little nap. We outside trying to get a little um a little sun and stuff. Um you said, Do I feel different? Um, a little bit. I feel a little bit different and stuff like that. I feel uh, not different, but I just feel I had a lot of energy yesterday. Um, so I was up for a while talking to some friends on the phone and, um, you know, not really doing too much or nothing. Um, William, what you say? Hey girl, come to the Queen Theater when everything is back. Where is that? Is that in DC? Yes. I'm outside getting some vitamin D. What Wendy you talking about? I ain't do nothing to her. I don't know who you talking about. I don't know who you talking about, girl. What's, what's going on? What's going on with Wendy? Girl, she done got the 19? Because, girl, the way I'm looking at it, girl, everybody is almost bound to get that fucking shit, honey. Yes, everybody's bound. Oh, it's in Wil Wilmington, Delaware. Okay, yeah. Hey, King Star, I love you, boo. What's going on? Oh, uh, yes. When am I coming to Charlotte, North Carolina? Mm, I don't know. I, I got I got my agents is getting together a tour. It's going to be the T.S. Madison After Dark Tour with me and um, Letanya. 
DSJ, I love you. What is going on, honey? David St. John, baby. My uh, my motherfucking, my producer, honey. My TV producer, David St. John, honey, who put the T.S. Madison experience together for the doll. Yes, I'm feeling better, David. You know, I'm feeling, I'm in better spirits. I'm not going to tell y'all any lie. Um, I it uh, If you have had the COVID, so you know, uh, you do feel like very, you, you, you do get, you you do be tired and you like like a little bit exhausted and stuff like that. Like that's like one of the sign effects, girl. You just be really tired and girl, you know. Hey Stevia, I love you. Oh, big dick Stevia. So listen, y'all need to be following Stevia. Stevia is out here rapping and shit. Stevia is rapping his ass off, honey. He is L B G T Q I A dash trade. And he is rapping his ass off, honey. You know, he got that New York vibe in his rap. And he got that real big old red anacondas in them pants. You know, you know he need to be rapping while you can look at his meat. So you could be just staring at it and really absorbing what he's saying, honey. He just be rapping. Rap, Stevie, your bitch. Um, hey, Styles. Yeah, I'm feeling better. Um, the smell and taste thing for me was like one of the biggest things. It was like one of the biggest. Um, that shit was like crazy for me. Like I was like, girl, I am so sick of this fucking shit. Like. Bitch, I couldn't smell. Uh, I love you too, baby. I couldn't smell. Oh, and listen, Lamar down there, Lamar Snowden. You know, Lamar is the big dick nigga from Philly, bitch. It's just something about my spirit. I don't know what it is that draws big dick men to me. They could be big dick gay men, big dick straight men, big dick fat men, big dick white men. Bitch, I don't know what it is. My spirit just draws real big dicks. I don't know. It's just something in, it's just an attachment. I think it's the succubus that was attached to me. The succubus. Hey, Larry Reed, what's going on, honey? Larry, you text me. Larry texted me the other day because Larry got some things going on. He invited me to, to come do his show. And I was like, I was really contemplating on doing it on Monday. But I'm like in a really big fear of going out. I'm not going to even front to y'all. Like, I'm not scared to go out in public no more. Um, I'm really having like, ang like people anxiety. Like, I'm having lots of people anxiety. Like, girl, what is... Go like, because I, I think that everybody is filled with the COVID, you know? And I'm like, girl, I just don't want to have that no more. I don't want to have no more of the COVID, girl. Girl, that was an eyelash in my wig. You see that? Girl, y'all see I just pulled that eyelash out my wig? Oh, the devil is a liar. But I just be feeling like everybody has the damn COVID. And so I'm just like, ooh, I don't want to... I don't want y'all to be touching on me. I don't want y'all to... I love you too, Larry. I don't want y'all to be. And see, I have a really major project that I'm that I have to do in the next few days, and so I just got to get my spirit together. Where I um, I have to get my spirit together. Thank you, thank you, Sor Sorica. I have to get my spirit together so that I could like really perform because, you know, I I have to just like get my mind together. Like, girl, like Madison, girl, you got ninety days of immunity and stuff like that, girl. You 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 you're vaccinated, girl. You know. And you got like you 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 know you could um you know you you ain't you you all right so girl you know what I'm saying you good you feel me I know I'm gonna get over here and I'm gonna dip my big pussy over here in this bleach water this big ass bleach water right here honey this pool of bleach right here I'm gonna dip my big ass over in that girl and honey and baptize myself again in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit so. You know, whatever coming, I buy, I buy, I rebuke it. See, I don't want to buy in it because, honey, when you, you know, I've been saying, I, thank you, babe. I've been saying, like, when you, when you, when you, when you say when you bind stuff, girl, you know how when they say I bind you, Nancy, I don't want to do the motherfucking binding no more. I need to, we need to be casting out. We don't need to be binding nothing. So, you know, how we be saying, I bind it up in the name of Jesus. No, we don't want to bind it because when you bind it, you bind it to you. You bind it to you, honey. You, 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 you lock it and bind it into you. So I don't want to, I don't want shit bind, bind, um, bind it to me. I want to rebuke it and cast it out. I want to rebuke and cast it out, honey. I rebuke and cast out the spirit, honey, of the 19. I rebuke and cast out the spirit, honey, of fear and all of that stuff over me right now. It got me so scared to be like, you know, out and around people and things like that, girl. Because I got a whole tour getting ready to come up. And I'm like, girl, I don't know. You know, m me and my agent was talking about it. And I was like, my agent name is Phil. And I said, Philip, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't know how I'm going to do this because I know we got to do I know it's some people, a lot of people that, you know, want to meet and greet. That's why y'all didn't see me. I didn't take any. I, first of all, I was sick, so I didn't take any bookings. Uh, you say, sing the cruise ship song? Okay, I'm going to do it when I get in the pool. I didn't take any of the Labor Day bookings and stuff like that. Like, girl, first of all, I was sick, okay? That was first of all. Then second, ah? Uh, then second of all, what's going on, Candy? It's your boy, Candy, bitch. What's going on, bitch? What's the Um, I didn't, um... I didn't want to go out. Like, I was so scared. I was looking at everybody on the park. I was looking at all the people on the park and all the people in the, um, just, like, mingling and stuff like that. And I was like, girl, have y'all have y'all not had the COVID, girl? Like, girl, y'all just, I feel more better, like, when I'm on set. Like, when I go to work on set, bitch, they test us in the morning. They test us in the afternoon, bitch. And they test us before we fucking leave, girl. We get tested three times a damn day. You get what I'm saying? We get tested that much. So I'm like, girl, I'd rather be, I'm, I feel more safe on set than just in the, in, the, in, the, in the, you know, just around a whole bunch of people, you know? And I do know on my tour, I'm going to have motherfucking rapid tests. You didn't do the pride events? Uh-uh, Candy, uh-uh. I know on my tour, I'm going to be doing rapid tests for y'all hoes, bitch, on the damn, when we get ready to do the meet and greet, I'm going to be, I'm going to keep me a case of rapid tests. So swab you up, girl. Girl, girl, we need to swab you, girl. So I know, girl, if you got me degree tickets, we swabbing you right over here. And we gonna, we gonna get those results, girl, in the uh, fifteen minutes, bitch. So I know. I thought you were supposed to be swimming. I am gonna swim, mama, but you know I got to check in with the people. What am I yes, mama. Did my mama say hey, girl? My mama said hi. She said hey. You said nobody did the private event. You said it's not gonna let you give up on people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, but I love, I love the people and stuff like you said. Rap, rap, yeah, I know rapid tests are not really accurate, but girl, I still it still would give me more of a peace of mind, girl. Like because I just be really so terrified. Like I am, I'm not gonna even tell y'all no lie. Like I am still gonna go get my coin. Now I ain't gonna even sit up here in front, but I'm not, I'm not gonna go get my coin on my tour. But I'm gonna be. Real, I'm gonna be real practicing, real safe, real this girl. I just, I don't know, child. Y'all don't know. It's just a lot of stuff going on in my mind. But this project that I'm getting ready to work on in the next couple of days, I'm real like I feel more safe because girl, they already and I know y'all watching me, girl. I know y'all watching me, girl. I love the way y'all are terrorizing me, girl, honey. You know, y'all are already terrorizing me, girl, about <laughs> girl, girl, get, get, girl getting two COVID tests in one day. <laughs> girl, girl getting my flights and all that stuff together and things of that nature, getting my hotel and things. So I'm, I'm glad. I'm glad. I really am already appreciative of the way that you guys are treating me already. Um, uh, I'm not going to release any information, girl, because I know y'all been waiting to see if I'm going to post anything, girl. No. Girl, this ain't my first time at the rodeo, girl. I'm the T.S., girl, honey. I've been doing the things for many, many years, girl. Many years. So, I'm not going to post these things, girl. But I do know that you guys are watching. <laughs> but I want to thank you in advance for the way that y'all already treating me and stuff like that or whatever. You know, my fans are going to be very pleased, you know, um, when things when, when things are announced and, um, you know, and, and you guys chose me for certain situations, they're going to be very happy and they're going to most definitely support because they love to see the TS, you know, you know, um, and I just want to take the, the time out to say, I really thank my diehard ride or die people that have been with me for a very long time. Um, that have, you know, grown with me and watched me, you know, cross over into uh, many, uh, many different spaces. And so like a lot of y'all done been there with me, honey, when I was naked, y'all, y'all there with me while I got clothes on. Y'all are, are there with me, you know, watching, you know, my career progress and watching, you know, a lot of things that I've spoken. Some of you been there, some of you been there with me when I spoke stuff, like, and I was like, oh, well, girl, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. And girl, it happened. And so, you know, I always encourage y'all uh, to have the, 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 uh, the, uh, the do of positive speaking. Like you got to always speak, you know what I'm saying? I always say this just like I, when I was on, um, 
I, I did a, a piece for the New York Times that's not out yet. It should be out in a, in a, in a couple of days. So I don't know when they're going to put it out. But I did a piece for the New York Times. And, and, and in the piece, I said, um, I said, uh, I am, um, I liken myself to the way, to the teachings, like not, not, I'm not religious or anything, but I am, I have, do have a relationship with God. And so I said, when I, when, when, when I take the context of the book, I said pieces, pieces from the context of the book that really resonate with me and the way that I utilize them in my life is just like when the book opens up, the book opens up and it said the earth was void and dark and God spoke let there be and it was and so many times like I don't know if, if people really skipped over how powerful or, or how how powerful that just that first just that passage alone should tell you the way that you say things out of your mouth and the, and the way you say things about yourself and the way that you say things over your life because when you look at it, when you take it from the context of the book says that when the earth was formed, it was dark, was darkness and void. And God spoke. He said, let there be. And it was. And so I always make sure that I apply that to me in, in, the, in the literal sense of me walking through my life. I was like, well, honey, it looks like that it's like void and dark and all this stuff or whatever so i this is something i want so i'm gonna say let there be and it shall be let there be and it will be he said it was darkness and he said let there be light spoken it never said that god took his hands and actually created anything except us men that he formed he created man in his image and, you know, he, he put his hands in the sand, in the dirt and created us from dirt. And so th that's the only thing that I, when I really look at it, when, when it says that God physically, physically put his hands, you know, on, on, on a, on a creation. Because everything else he spoke it. Everything else. He spoke light. He said, let there be. And it was. He spoke these things. And so therefore... I also use that, like when it's come when it comes to the physical sense of things. Yes, I can speak and 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 speak and speak and speak and speak these things. But I also not only do I have to speak it, I also have to put my hands in it. If I really, if I really want physical things to really manifest for me, I have to put my hands in that in that in that shit. Excuse me, because y'all y'all know I motherfucking cuss, but I have to put my hands in that. Get down there and do the work. See, a lot of y'all hoes be sitting over here feeling some type of way towards me or feeling some type of way towards people who are successful or feeling some type of way towards people who got their shit together. A lot of those people spoke that stuff over their life. A lot of people did that. And then a lot of then a lot of people uh, motherfucking be over there wishing shit to go down for them, but they never apply. They never stick their hands and they never put their hands and they never they never put their hands in the dirt and create it. Like, bitch, all the times that I really sat over there, whatever, and, you know, and I hate to, to say this bullshit, but all the times that I done, for people that been like, um, you know, with that porn shit and all that bullshit, yeah, girl, I did that. I put my hands in it. I created that. I did that or whatever. But after I did that, I spoke and said, this is the day I'll be done with that, and this is the day I'm going to be doing other things. You know, bitch, and I, I put my hands, my hands, feet, toes, and everything else physically in there and went after my shit. And so that's why a lot of y'all hoes gotta uncross your nuts. You you hoes be having real big nut sex, nut sex, bitch. That's filled with creation, but you can't make nothing come out the bitch because you got your nuts crossed on other people. I'm gonna forever say that. Uncross your nuts, ho. Uncross your nuts. That's the way I feel about it. Uncross your nuts, bitch. Let the nuts say, un bitch. Take them, un unroll them nuts off a bit. They too focused on mm. -mm. Mm -mm -mm. No, you had an hour. Mm -mm. I ain't finna get Miss Mary in this because Miss Mary gonna get a hint. She gonna start the foolishness, girl, honey. I ain't going in the past. This ain't Sunday. This ain't Soul Sunday, girl. This ain't Soul Sunday. And so this is why I posted um, on my on my on my um, on my page. I posted on my page um, 
because I, 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 it says when you Google me, that says she's an American television personality. I was like, yes, bitch. Come on, ho. Come on for being an American television personality, baby. Do it like it's my P-Day, baby. <laughs> yes. Girl, Miss Mary was ready to get over in this, baby. I started talking about the thing. Miss Mary was ready to get in it. Oh, uh, you say, where's the llama? Girl, the llama over there, girl, the big one. We, girl, she over here. The, girl, she right here, girl. She, she real. Her neck broke. Girl, her neck broke, girl. You see her neck? Girl, her neck broke, girl. And her back flat, girl. So, you know, she really ain't doing, she ain't really doing about nothing, girl. And the other, the white one, she over there, girl, honey. She over there, she been waiting on me for a long time to get back in the water. But, girl, I ain't really thinking about nothing. So, I just want to, I just want to dip, dip my hair. She come, y'all. Well, girl, well, girl, she, well, pop her, girl. I, well, pop her up then, girl. Pop her up. Pop her up, girl. Well, girl, don't come over here. My lie. Let me have my lie, girl. I gave you Sunday, girl. Saturday. I gave you Saturday, girl. Now, you had a whole segment, girl. Well, he did. And he, gave, he told me to let you have a whole segment, girl. Saturday, girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Don't you call me here. I, I ain't ready for the pastoral today, girl. The day I want to cuss and stuff. I just had to get that off my off my chest. That I want to cuss today. I want to cuss and talk dookie. And get over here and walk my big fat bed by itself over here. I don't need to see if this water warm, girl. Oh. Girl, y'all done lost weight. Girl, this stuff's so big on me. I need to get this mirror back up here. Girl, it's too cold. Girl, I swear tomorrow, girl. Uh uh. Girl, mama's not finna get no more on you. No, that's <laughs> girl, girl, I stick my feet. Girl, I ain't gonna get no more in your ASS. Girl, I ain't gonna get no more in my ASS, girl, cause I can smell my ASS now. And I would know if it smell like the boy in you. <laughs> <laughs> I know if my ass is smelling like pneumonia. You said, I you said. Yes, ma'am, girl. <laughs> oh girl, listen. It's I need to go on this side and see. Hold on, let me see. Maybe if I get a little sun on my back, the sun will make me want to get over in there. <sighs> Hold on. Oh shit. Here, it is. It got too hot under that thing. Where she at, girl? Girl, where she at? Girl, she ain't. Uh, girl, where she at? Oh, there she go over there. No, mama. I'ma sit in the sun, and maybe the sun will make my make me want to get in here. Oh, maybe the sun. Oh. Oh. Girl, I'm giving me some vitamin D. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to do too much land, though. I don't know if I'm going to do too much of that, girl. Too much land. Too much sauce. Girl, I had to get that thing out from... Girl, I know I had to get that thing out from between my legs. Oh. Oh, see, now, now it's too much sun on me. It's too much sun. It's too much sun, girl. Ooh. Girl, I'll be out here like a baked potato, girl. Mm, have to change my makeup. Ooh. I have to change my makeup foundations and stuff, girl. Sit out in the sun like that. I'll be dark as you. You. Ooh. Mm. 
mama, it was warm. I thought the, it was gonna be warm. You told me it was warm out here. Oh. Oh. Let me see, girl. I'm trying to get this thing to stay like this. Girl, this shit raggedy. How many of y'all mamas be on y'all social media, girl? No, I'm not in Texas. I'm in Atlanta. I'm in Atlanta. How many of y'all mamas be on, on social media, be on y'all page following y'all? Uh, how many of y'all mamas be on y'all page following y'all, girl? And girl be in your live and stuff like that, girl. Girl, you can't even be gossiping, girl, getting the tea. Because your mama be over there. In the tea, be over there in your business while you get everybody else. You say you block your mama, girl, right? Yeah, girl. Let me see what y'all say. You say your mama don't be on yours, girl, my mama. Oh, you say your mama got your pay? Uh uh. See, my mama, see, one thing about it, what I love about my mama, she don't know nothing. She don't even know how to use the password stuff. She or she be tearing her own stuff up. She be messing up her own stuff. You say absolutely not. You say <laughs> leave my mama alone. Hey Travis. Mm. Oh, you say your mama be friend at you. See, you got to listen. I just really wish it was an option that when you when you when the when the things know your parents that you could that you could uh you could what's that thing called parental control. This should be made for the parental control should be made for the parents too. Parental control, so that you know your mama, you put them on there and they can only see three videos. You can say, okay, well, I don't want her to see this video. I don't want her to see that one, girl. So your mama now says, you say you got your mama block. I got her block on one, but she got a burner account. Ah, <laughs> your mama smart, girl. Girl, your mama smart, honey. She keeps up with the, she keeps up with the Kardashians, baby. Mm. You say your mama wanted you to make her, wants you to make her one, Kayla. And she got an Instagram. She told she couldn't have one. That's right, girl. And you say your mama 80 and she's curious more than ever. Right. They be want to know. You say your mama 75 and she don't know. She <laughs> You parental control on Facebook. <laughs> Y'all crazy. Ugh. I am. I'm going to save it. Yes, I love her name, Miss Private Abortion. So I know yes, the other day y'all saw me um, talking about Caitlyn Jenner. And what I said about Caitlyn was, and then I seen some other homosexuals or some other transsexuals, girl, that real, you know, I be knowing y'all hoes to be, that can't take me to be on y'all pages. They didn't like what I said, but what I said was true. And then I had some women come on there like, oh, none of y'all trans should be speaking on. And I was like, girl, see, you trying to make this, sometimes hoes be trying to take the moments that they get, like the little, the little seconds or moments that they get, and they want to use, you should use that instead of trying to, because I'm going to cut your head off, ho. You should use those moments and just not post or just not, you should just not say shit to me because bitch, you're going to get blocked and you're going to have to make four new pages. But my thing is, oh, one of them transsexuals came on there and said, oh, well, you, um, you misgendering her. I said, bitch, I never called her a man. I said, why don't she let the white man in her die? Why don't you lay that white man down to rest? Lay her, lay him, the one, the trans woman that you have become. Why don't you pick that up? Understand what all of that encompasses, girl, and lay that white Republican man down. Or you think you rich white woman now? Sorry, sweet, it don't work like that, girl. It don't work like that, mama. You ain't no rich white woman either, bitch. You just a, you just a, you just you you a rich white trans woman. But my whole thing is, you know, I've said this before, and these are my own personal opinions, and I, if anybody offended by that, okay. When I look at, at when I look at the way Caitlyn operates, I look at Caitlyn, she operates on the space of, like, I really believe that she was really infatuated with women's clothing. And really infatuated with women's clothing, and really was like, you know what? I really would like, I really want to see how my foot would look in that nice, in that nice uh, Pentecostal um, salamander shoe. I really would like to see how my foot would look in that salamander shoe, that one that's real low to the ground. I would really, 
really, really see how my, want to see how my foot looks in that salamander heel. And I really want to put these, these stockings on, girl, because I be seeing Kim in her stockings. And I be want to put, I just want to put these stockings on, girl. You know, I used to go to the store and see my mama go down there. And she used to get those stockings before she go to church, those Pentecostal stockings. And she would go get those Pentecostal stockings to put on. And I really want to just put that on. And you know what I'm saying? I really want to put this, you know, this, uh, uh, what color is that? Them girls, be, them children be having. I really want to put this nude lipstick on my lip, girl. On my thin white man lips. And put these, uh, lipstick on my thin lips. And just, I just really want to put on a, you know, a nice piece of hair or, or grow my hair out, girl, and just comb through my hair and just play around in the, you know, in the mirror because no, 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 no. I don't think she wanted to be a drag queen. There's a difference because a drag queen puts that shit on and she, she takes that shit off after work. A cross dresser puts that shit on and they also take it off for work and pleasure but a transvestite, a transvestite puts it on and they likes it in a sexual space. They like to be desired in a space, in a sexual space or whatever, you know. They like it, you know, they like to be, you know, desired in the stockings and in, the, in a salamander shoe. The Pentecostal stockings, they like them, they like it in the Pentecostal boot or, you know, really small. You know how those heels be having that little, that little heel, that little salamander heel down at the bottom. They like that little heel and, you know, and they like, they love to be desired and wanted by whatever they're, by, by men or women who, who are into, you know, the kink of the whole situation or whatever, you know. And then sometimes, you know, a transvestite can get trapped in that because, you know, it's like, oh, I like this every day. Hey, I like this stuff every day. You know, because if you are a person that is a transgender person, a transgender woman, or with trans identity and stuff like that, whatever, it is no way in God on God's green earth that you would be in agreement with anybody, with anyone having control or having a say over what happens to a person's body, period. We are not females, okay? I am not a female, she is not a female. You know, I identify as a transgender woman, she identifies as a transgender woman. So we, of all people, should be able to understand how important it is for people not to want to have control over the things that, you know, we do to our bodies. Could you just imagine, could you just imagine, like, I don't know shit about what a woman goes through when she's pregnant, nothing. I can only watch her from the sideline. I can only comfort her from the sideline. I can only do these things. Like I watch my mother, I, I'm the oldest of, my, of the kids. I watch my mother be pregnant twice. I watched my aunt be pregnant with all of her kids. I watched her carry her sons. I watched my mother carry her sons. I watched this stuff with my eyes. There was nothing that I could do. I watched my I watched the breast milk in my mother's breast fill up and so that she could nurse. I watched these things happen. And so all I could do is when she was in pain or when she was in discomfort, or when things were going on with her, all I could do is hold touch, hold on her, pray for her. Build. I don't know what the fuck she was going through mentally spiritually or anything what in the hell do do anybody who ain't gonna walk around with a child buried deep inside of them or being able to push a child out or whatever gonna tell a, a woman to say a, a female to say hey well you know what you need to just this is what you need to do with your body bitch it's not yours it is not your body it is not your body it's not your fucking body. And so just like you, just like there are things about men that women will never, I don't want a woman making, making uh, uh, laws about things to do 
with with men's genitalia. I don't want a man or a woman making laws about what it, what to do, you know, with me as a transgender person. I don't want that. I don't want that shit going on. So why in the hell would I want to sit around here and uphold something like? And then then she's just sitting over here saying, oh well, this is a this this is a um. She said that she supports pro-choice. But she also supports the state's right. Bitch, you can't stress. You can't be in the middle with this one, these. You can't be in the middle with this one. You cannot be. What if you? That's just like saying, "Oh, I support this, this. The state should have the right to do voter suppression. Like you know, you should have the right to block certain votes from coming through from certain people. This is this is the shit that you. This the shit. Like you can't be. You can't straddle the fence on this, niece. You can't do that. Bitch, you got if you're gonna say you pro-choice, girl, you got to say you pro-choice all the way to the to the bus out. You can't do that. You can't walk the thin line with this and say the state's right, the Texas should be able to do this, but I believe in pro bitch, you don't believe in that because if you did, you would be tearing you would be tearing Texas up. And I had a real big problem with that because see, I'm unlike a lot of the black people that feel some kind of way about the, the gays and the transgenders and stuff like that. I understand when a marginalized group is targeted, the next marginalized group is up next. I understand that. I get it. And a lot of people who go and make decisions in Congress or who go out voting for people to get because they get it too. They understand it. Like, girl, I know if this group is in trouble, I know that if this group is in trouble, bitch, I'm next. I, I, you got to know that. And so when I be hearing that whole, when I hear that whole say this, I'm like, girl, you stupid. You dumb. How you go? How the fuck you going to sit up here talking about something? You agree with what the states, with what the states do. Bitch, do you know how these, do you know that we, you live in California, girl, but I live in Georgia. I'm from Florida. Bitch, I'm surrounded by Alabama, Louisiana, girl, you know, all these places that that's the Bible Belt. What if these Bible Belts, Bible Belt states, start to do other shit outside of abortion anything that takes away any type of right any type of right or any type of personal choice for somebody bitch it might not affect you at this moment but understand that you're next and so while you while caitlin while you may love to put on your pentecostal shoe and your pentecostal stockings and your tomato red lipstick and you like to brush through your very thin uh uh 4b or number four color hair and comb through that and talk about border control and hi guys and get into all of the things if you really sat down and you really just chilled and you really like really paid attention instead of doing the things trying to be on the side of hoes that don't like you any motherfucking way then you will really get it you will really see why so many people be clawing be clawing your ass up you will really see why so many people are clawing you because girl people really understand that girl i'm one of those people that see it's them today and it could be it's going to be me tomorrow it's them today and it's going to be me tomorrow so of course I'm going to I'm going to support a situation. No, do I want women to go out and have abortions? No, because I I am very concerned about the the fetus. However, I, I don't want to and it's not a pass because I say, "Oh, well girl, I don't feel like that you need to be letting a woman um uh you do, you uh, you don't have the right to tell a woman what to do with her fucking body." Okay? Cuz you don't. But I just personally feel like girl I don't want women out there just using that as a scapegoat. Like, okay, girl, come over here and nut at me, nigga. And let me have your baby. Or then when you mad at him, I'm going to kill your baby. You get what I'm saying? Like, it still it still works both ways with that stuff. I, like, I'm not pro-choice and not thinking about the fetus. Because I'm very much so like, girl, don't go out there and ride no dicks. And don't go out there. But do you know how many women get raped in, in the United States? Or people, or girls who get who pussy them and taken from them, you know, by just not not want to give it up or people, women that have been date raped and and niggas do a lot of shit and then men be fucking and they be fucking people against their will 
So do you know how many times a women's have been coming in by that bullshit and then next thing you know, they got to walk around. I don't want to have a nigga that I hate, baby. I don't want to be in the club and a nigga done stuck his dick in me in the back of, in the in the damn club, honey, just fucking me, girl, while he done dropped a roofie in my drink, bitch. I don't want to have that nigga's face. I don't want to be so tied to that nigga. Now, do I, I but it's a, it is that woman's decision to do that if that's what she want to do. I just feel like that Miss Thing, Miss Caitlin, and I'm still calling her Miss. I have not misgendered her. I have not called her out of her name. I've only talked about her salamander shoe. Because there is no way on God's green earth that she puts those hooves in a shoe. Because, bitch, bitch, I don't even have that type of foot, bitch. And I know I don't have an athlete's foot, bitch. That hoe was the fucking goddamn on the Wheaties box. You know she has an athlete's foot. So I don't even have a fucking athlete's foot. And because I don't have an athlete's foot, bitch, I still have a foot. I still have the foot. <laughs> I still have the genetic foot that I got, bitch. And I don't have a motherfucking goddamn small ass foot girl i wear 11 wide and so bitch i know that if she over there because i don't wear salamander here girl i still put some me a nice little but i don't got in the older stage but i bring those heels down bitch i need me at least a four inch i used to do six inch all the time girl but bitch them seven them and, and i'm five foot six and i know that the Javelon champion bitch is at least six foot something, girl. I know this already because I've seen her tower over, over her children. I've seen her do this stuff. <laughs> and so, I've seen her be big. As, uh, what's that big whole name that played Red Sonya? What's that big, that big strong ass bitch that played Red Sonya? You know, and she was Flavor of Flav Love Interest. That big strong, that big, that big bitch. And she was on the damn uh, uh, Beverly Hills Cop 2. What was that whole name? That big motherfucking hoe. You know. So, I know she don't wear a... I know she has a side... Yeah, Bridget Nielsen. I know that bitch has a... Uh, uh, that bitch wears a salamander shoe or a, or, or a kitten. That bitch wears a kitten heel, bitch, because that's a big O. And so I know if him and that, her and that whole running neck and neck, bitch, I already know that she has a fucking set. Them both, them whole, whole for them, both of them hoes will sell. Who say I'm big? Bitch, you don't, Simone, bitch, you don't know me. Bitch, I ain't big and strong. And, I'm, yeah, I'm strong enough, bitch, to cuss your motherfucking ass out, bitch, you swole throat hoe. But, bitch, if you ain't never seen me, anybody that know me and seen me already knows, bitch, that I blends right in between, ho. I am five foot six, bitch. I am thick than a motherfucker. My ass titties is big, bitch. My arms are skinny, bitch. My fucking back ain't huge like this. So all that shit that you, you swole, triple, fucking, uh, a cum throat ass ho be listening to bitches on the outside that don't know me. Bitch, you don't know me. You ain't never seen me in person. And if you did, bitch, why you ain't say none of the shit in my face? It's called fear. Anyway, like I said, because I don't tower over anybody, bitch. My mother is five foot. My mother is five feet tall. So, bitch, I'm, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm maybe six, six inches taller than her, bitch. You don't know me, ho. I'll blend right in with you, ho, bitch. I, I'm the type of ho that'll sneak up on you and push my sister over there to knock your whole face in. Don't waste your time. Mama, I have to let them hoes know, baby. I have to get it. I have to slide in there and let them hoes understand, girl. They be, they be trying me because they be thinking that I don't read no more. Bitch, I ain't gonna never be too blue dotted and never be too connected in anywhere to cuss a hoe out when I feel like it. Bitch, you must ain't never seen me with, with in the company of men, bitch. You don't have no problems. I don't have any problems. Me and that hoe ain't the same size. We ain't the same height, bitch. We ain't the same. Bitch, I got an 11 wide shoe. Like your big fat ass Mammy Bertha. Now, like I said... I just personally feel that, you know, in the space of the whole situation, 
her mind is so conflicted with what she is, you know? I really think that her mind is like extremely conflicted with what she is. Like her mind is like really, you know, gone in a space of, I, that she's very much so in a, in a place torn in between her cross being a Caitlyn. She's torn in a place of being like a cross, like a, I don't think she, a, I don't think that she, a, she's a cross dresser. I don't think that she's a, a drag queen. I don't think that stuff about her. I do think that she's in this space of, I do think that she identifies as a transgender woman, but it's just like her, of uh, her, her, her ideas and the shit that she be over there talking about. I'm like, girl, how are you really sitting over here with, the, with these ideas and the things that you think about? How are you, how are you really sitting over here thinking thinking in the space of like oh girl you you're not a white man anymore you are not a white man girl you're not a white man no more and so when a, when a bitch was telling me oh i should i should have you know i misgender her bitch i have not called her him he none of this stuff i have not done that because she is she still but it's just the fact of the matter girl it's just like girl girl what, what, why are your thoughts this way What's wrong? And she always be on the opposing side for the girls. I be like, girl, what's the tea? Who sent you, bitch? Who sent you? Did, they, did the Trump team send you over there to infiltrate the whole situation to say, you know, like, and as much as she don't want to be a representation for the trans people, she is a representation of the trans people. Because I don't want to be a representation of the trans people because, bitch, I make all kinds of motherfucking mistakes. But, I mean, it is what it comes along with the territory of understanding, like, you, okay, girl, you, you occupy, there's spaces that you occupy and there's things that you got to understand. Girl that you hold these spaces, you hold these spaces and you hold these places, girl, and you just got to really understand, girl, that bitch, people are gonna hang on to the things that you say, they're gonna, they're gonna take bites and clips and they're gonna take thoughts from the things that you say and they are going to, you know, really apply that to you. Like every time, like when they were sitting her, over there acting, oh, girl, Making it seem like the girl, she was the go-to, the go-to for the girls. I'm like, girl, sit your motherfucking long back ass down, ho, bitch. With them fucking wild green stockings on. Mm. You said, wait a minute, you said, so your issue is with a white woman who used to be a white man doing white man shit yet you keep dividing our people bitch let me divide these legs where you can suck this dick i don't divide our people if anything if you obviously bitch you don't follow me because i'm never trying to motherfucking goddamn divide the people i'm always trying to bring the people together bitch all the time what's up flame i'm always trying to blank bring the motherfucking people together bitch don't so don't you fix your mouth to tell me Hold it, I'm always trying to divide the people, bitch. If you, obviously you don't watch my shit, so why don't you close your motherfucking eyes on my live right now, bitch? Why don't you close your eyes on my live, bitch, and don't watch this one and take your motherfucking scatterbrain ass over there, bitch, into your own shit. Get off my shit. You motherfucker. Bitch ass hoe. always taking pieces and fragments of what a hoe told you about me bitch and then when you see me lie somewhere bitch you always want to jump on my motherfucking lie bitch kick rocks bitch with open toe shoes on pussy you see a lot of you hoes got balls online bitch i got balls in real life bitch you always got balls online bitch and be thinking that you gonna you gonna because i because bitch you think i'm saying the sanctified whole night bitch that i won't motherfucking put the all ralph on your pussy The fuck off my life with that bullshit, bitch. Take that shit over there to your mammy. Coming in halfway at, the, at, at what the fuck I said, bitch. Talking about some I'm mad at a white woman who used to be a white man, bitch. But yet I'm trying to divide. What I'm trying to I'm dividing these legs, bitch, so you can get down there and suck this dick, pussy. 
There go your two minutes, bitch. And if you show your face again, bitch, I'ma block your ass, ho. Don't you ever forget what the fuck I was going viral for, bitch. Reading. And anybody that want to hire me know that that's what I do in a fucking way. So, bitch, I don't do it as much as I used to, bitch. But, bitch, you know. You and that fat neck ass, whoever the, that fucking hoe was that was just on here. Both of y'all get a, get a y'all fucking goddamn beetle and beat your ass down the street, motherfucker. Nah. Like I said before, I was so rudely interrupted. I ain't got no beef with that hoe, with Miss Thing, with Miss Caitlin. But I just feel like that you have to put these thoughts in, in, in the process. And I, I really don't think that people are putting these thoughts, these thoughts and shit in their mind when they say, you know, when they look at when they look at the government targeting a group of people, when they see the government targeting a group of people, I don't think that they like really put like it's them today. It's going to be your bitch ass tomorrow. And one thing you hoes got to understand is that bitch. The transsexuals is so low on the totem pole. Like Flame say, bitch, we the we, bitch, we the last letter in the damn on the damn LBGT. We the last letter on the motherfucking LBGT, the last one. So you already know, bitch. She already she should know. Miss Caitlin should know, bitch. That we the last them people don't give one fuck about us, even in our own community, bitch. And so we the last one over there. And at the end of the day, girl, 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 if girl, you need to be standing, girl, if you're gonna portray. And you're going to be, you're going to say that you a trans woman. Because see, I'm not a woman. I'm not, excuse me, I'm not a female. I'm a trans woman. And I try to let people understand that I'm proud. I walk in my transness. I live in my transness, bitch. I am a trans, bitch. When people be like, are you a woman? Bitch, I let you already understand. So that it's no confusion. You don't have to come talk to me about biology and anatomy and all that shit, bitch. I know about all of that. I don't need to hear nothing about that. I don't need to hear shit about that. I ain't fighting to be, I ain't striving to be, I ain't doing this. I am a transgender woman. I know this, I say this, I live in this. Me. But I also know that I, that because I'm the last letter on the motherfucking LBGT thing, just, just like Flame say, I'm the last letter on the LBGT situation, I understand that there are things that I have to stand up for because it's, it's them, it's when, when people go after, like I said, marginalized groups, it's them today and me tomorrow. I understand that as a, as a black trans person, that bitch, I got to stand up for black women. I know that I have to stand up. But, and that don't mean that I'm not going to cuss a black woman out. Because just like I cussed that motherfucking swole neck hoe out, who only, that bitch had a black bitch picture up there. So I know that was the black motherfucking hoe. And I cussed her fuck ass out. That don't mean I'm not going to cuss a black woman out, bitch. That could be bitch because I'm going to cuss any bitch out that try me. Balls included, bitch. Dick included. That's black woman, black man, black motherfucking child. So that don't mean, but I know that I have to stand up because, bitch, if they after her on Friday, bitch, you best to know that Saturday coming for me. If they after her on Friday, bitch, you know that, bitch, that Saturday they coming for me. So I, I'm definitely going to be out there windmilling for her, bitch. I already know black men, bitch, that I know I, it's, it's important for me. Bitch, my brother's a black man. My my, my uncle's a black man. My, grandma, my grandfather's a black man. Bitch, I already understand this stuff. I already know, bitch. When they after them, bitch, I'm I'm two minutes. I'm I'm right up the street. I'm right up the street, bitch. So they I'm they I'm right behind it, bitch. So of course I know that I need to win me up for that. I just really wish that you know all the times that I be talking and when people be watching my videos and shit like that, they understand that I'm like, girl, you gotta really understand that you if you not if you ain't really fighting for for your people. Or if you're not a marginalized group of people that are fighting for marginalized groups of people, bitch. You got to know it's you, it's them today and you tomorrow. You got to know that. 
Now, the only thing that I be on the fence for is with that, with a lot of that, with a lot of the racist, them racist people that be from foreign places. Now, that kind of shit there, I don't be with all that. Because I'm like, girl, my eye on you, bitch. Bitch, my eye on you. Because some of you motherfuckers be with that, be with that, that white supremacy shit too, bitch. And you ain't even white. And I got my fucking eye on your ass, bitch. Anyway, girl. This water too cold for me to get in there, girl. And I'm finna take my ass in the house, girl. Take me a nap. Take my eye in there, my ass in there. Take me a nap, girl. I'm sleepy. Hey, pound cake. I love you, bitch. I'm sleepy. I'm tired. And I got a pack, girl. I got a pack. Oh, my God. I got a pack clothes. Mm -hmm. Jay, you say you want to come swim? Okay, you can't wear no drawers, girl. You know this is a no drawers pool. You say what we eating today, girl? I don't know, girl. Girl, you in Atlanta? Bring me a piece of hair, girl. Because I got something real important I'm doing next week. And I need, I need a piece of hair. Chi-Chi is somewhere. I talked to Chi-Chi today. Mm -hmm. Miss Mary, all right. She in the house, girl. She on here watching this live. She probably done, she, she probably done wrote me and told me to hush my mouth. She always telling me to hush. But, you know. Boo, you don't never have to respond to them people. I was like, I know it. I know I ain't got to respond to them pussy ass hoes, but some of them hoes get out of out of hand, and I had to let them hoes know, bitch, bitch, you you on here tripping, but pussy ass hoe, you, you bitch, I got balls in real life, in real life, bitch. So bitch, you if you you tripping on here and let me run run into your screen name, bitch, and in, in Instagram, I'ma cuss your ass out of your motherfucking face, man, woman, and or a child, bitch. And in betweens too. Oh, you got some bundles? Come on now, you know I'm with the bundles. You know I'm with the bundles. All right, y'all, I'm finna go, girl. I love y'all. I just had to um, I just had to talk to y'all real quick and get say what's on. I was gonna get in the pool, but bitch, it's too cold out here right this. I mean, it ain't cold out here, but the water is too cold, and I don't feel like getting in there right there. Girl, I want the new morning to get on my back, honey. And I want the new morning on me, girl. Mm -mm. All right, babies. I love y'all. I'll talk with y'all later on. Mm -hmm. Kisses.